You know some are about to be lit when they got a door like this. It's the Ace of Vegas, the Ace of Vegas. Hey guys, Ace of Vegas here. So, not sure if you guys know, but once you leave the pool, there's a little more to the secret, the uh, Mirage Pool. There's actually the secret garden and dolphin habitat. So our boys Siegfried and Roy actually have their uh, tiger and lion rescue back this way. And we're gonna go ahead and go check it out. I'm gonna run up and uh, grab some tickets. I wasn't able to get the uh, two, two for free tickets from my Vegas this time, so I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, see if they'll comp me uh, after I check out, so we'll see what happens. Okay, so here we go. Um, immediately the soundtrack is very much a, uh, it's a very tropical sort of thing. I think it's carrying over from the pool, but it definitely sounds like something that you hear in the rainforest. A lot of percussion, some woodwind instruments there, and of course an overhead plane because reasons. So going into the habitat, first round here, and I already put my ticket away. All right. Doing this for my boy, Captain Devpool, because I know he likes the cats, and we're gonna have a good time. Okay, folks, we are non-smoking. Uh, we just ask for dolphin safety that you not reach over or set anything on top of the dolphin pool walls, okay? That sounds great. Uh, do you have any drinks with bottle caps today? Uh, no, just this one. Okay, you're welcome to take your drink inside minus the straw. The straw is a hazard for the animals. So it's just a straw. No straws. All right, guys, so do you hear that? No straws. Oh, well, we made it just in time for the dolphin training. Let's check this dolphin training out here, guys. Up close, really. It's like a dolphin taxi. They just send dolphins to go pick up small children. It's crazy. I mean, she's a grown woman, but that's not what we're getting at. Look at that. What a Aww. shot. What a shot there. Whoa! Let's just show it off. Cool. There they go. So guys, just so you know, the uh, Secret Garden mission includes the dolphin habitat too. Uh, if you manage to get the comp, it saves you a good 44 bucks right there because you got a general admission to the actual habitat for two adults, and I think that's a really great deal. So, we'll see the cats in a minute. I want to see the dolphins right now. Explain echolocation and how pods work, and interaction with wild dolphins. It's a bad thing. Yeah. Don't mess with, uh, don't mess with dolphins in the wild there, because then, because they're, they're naturally pretty friendly and that's a problem so then they'll start expecting handouts and things like that um, looking underwater it's hard to see right now oh yeah here they come here they come just watching them move underwater oh they just took off look at that man look at them move 
I can't, uh, I don't think I have a mode that can accurately capture this. I wonder if I can get the, let me go ahead and get some action cam footage. Let me try that. All right, the action cam's a little more stable. It's a little easier to see, but they're still so fast. Looks like there's a total of three of them down here right now. But they're all at the surface doing the training right now, so we're probably not gonna see much else down here. Looks like they've got, they got about five dolphins out here. Not sure if this, uh, not sure if the pool is big enough for five dolphins. I'm not really sure how. What do you need here, folks? In different types of fish, we need capelin, herring, smelt, but they also need squid. Oh, they eat squid too. There you go. We got waving dolphins. This is awesome. I love it. All right, so the tigers have, uh, they have quite the show to live up to. Father of the Pride is going to have quite the quite the follow up. And I think this is a secondary containment area over here for the uh, for the dolphins. I didn't think they could stay in the show tank the whole time. There goes some average dropper. That's not part of the zoo. You take the bridge over to more dolphin habitat. It almost looks like part of the pool, and you can actually see it from the tower. It actually looks like we got more dolphins out here. The uh, crystal clear water, you can see. They're not doing a lot of breaching right now, so I think they're just kind of chilling and hanging out. I'm going to leave them to chill and hang, hang out, though. Because, you know, they're not show ponies, they're dolphins, so I'll leave them to hang out. Okay, so this bit looks a little complicated. This looks like it actually might be the salinity and the containment chamber for the actual, uh, for the actual pool here, or the pools, to take care of the dolphins. So that's, a, that's pretty solid. That's a lot of equipment. Okay, guys, this is the official... Sarmodi experience, and when I say Sarmodi, that means Siegfried and Roy, masters of the impossible, which is also, also the name of the father-in-law and um, father of the pride there. Uh, if you guys haven't checked it out, it's a weird little cult show. It's basically like Discount Shrek, but for lions. Uh, John Goodman was the dad on that one, so that was kind of funny. Make a wish on this beautiful tree, it will come true. Well, I'll make a wish. Let's make a wish on the tree here. And it's a lot of... Alright, they're already doing magic over here. That's Siegfried and Roy doing their thing. Oh, of course, I don't think they performed in years, so... Tigers are about to... And they got some great stuff out here. So let's go ahead and see if the, the cats are out. Uh, right now it's about 80, almost 90 degrees. Uh, and they got some interesting stuff about male lions over here. But it's like 80, 90 degrees. So this is not ideal cat watching weather right now. Um, it's also like middle of the day. And this is not our, oh, Timba Masai. That's the name, that's his name. Timba Masai. And there he is up there. All right, so that is Timba, male lion. Um, looks like his standard color, so not one of the white lions. And he is indeed asleep, which makes sense because it's Vegas, and it's like a million degrees out here, and also it's the middle of the day, so I don't know why he wouldn't be asleep. Okay, and we here, here we have Java, the 
Java the Leopard here, also asleep, because again, it's a million degrees, and these are big cats. These are largely nocturnal animals, so I'm not really sure why they have this attraction open during the daytime. Um, I'd much prefer to see it at nighttime, just when they're kind of out and about, maybe night vision goggles. Uh, I'm sure they probably, they might attack the cages, who knows. So maybe it's just not a safe thing for the, uh, for the cats there. But, makes you wonder, makes you think. The white tigers, I believe all of them here are Bengal tigers. Yes. And surprisingly, I think this one's awake. Gold tigers look identical to their gold tigers. Yeah, here we go. Let's see if we can get in there. Yep, yeah. oh, actually, it's awake. We actually got one that's awake. And probably wondering what we're doing over here, because again, it's really, really warm out right now and I'm just gonna keep reiterating this to you guys too that it's super warm and you know these animals are nocturnal largely most of the uh, big cats are nocturnal and uh, lions sleep like some like 20 hours a day they're only active for about two to four hours a day and it is so hot out here so even with that white coat it is killer so he's just chilling in the shade being smart about it and I think that's a that's a good call here. I don't know what the, I don't know what the tiger's name is. I'd like to find the tiger's name. I'm gonna be right back. Okay, so this is Star. She's a striped Bengal tiger. I don't think she is. I don't think she's really terribly interested in us right now. Oh, look at her go though. We're not gonna worry about that too hard. She is beautiful. She's a big, beautiful girl. Love it. Absolutely love her. Okay, and here we have our buddy Shadow. Shadow is the original Black Panther over here. Shadow's a black spotted leopard. And actually, if you zoom in a little bit right over here, you can see that he's got spots. Very pretty, very pretty. Um, also a little tired. Beautiful. So, I took a rope and wrapped it around all four young ones. Gave it to him. He can pull all four of you into a tree at the same time. Wow. It's a strong cat, isn't it? So they can basically pull over double the weight very tree. Smart. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> What's up, Shad man? So that's why they get the long tail. Good for balance for climbing. And how they all have like the little Total pups at that. Mm -hmm. You know how it's like held lighter. Than so it. yeah, just based on how it grows. That's. I mean, I'm, I'm sure there's different adaptations and different things that make a difference. Okay, so we got a snow white tiger by the name of Celestial. Celestia is actually doing some running around. When I came over to go see Shadow, I think she was getting a drink, so now I think she's uh, doing some relaxing. She was just doing some running around a second ago. Again, it's very hot out today, so I think she just wanted to go ahead and get out of the sun for a little while, get a little, little bit of hydration. I know I feel the same. I'm definitely down for some hydration right now. So I cannot wait to get out of the sun myself. Got to reapply the sunscreen. Look at that. Big, beautiful cat right there. So, just got a little bit of space to run around over here. The habitat's actually pretty creative. I, I doubt that it's a natural habitat. Obviously, nothing in Vegas is natural, so it's not a very natural habitat, but there we go. Look at her move, look at that muscle. That's some serious muscle. And you still see the stripes on her and her thighs there, so definitely still a tiger tiger. But yeah. Just like a giant house cat really. So gentle warning about your house cats there. They're pretty savage. They can take you down if they get sized up properly to your size. What a beautiful creature. She looks happy. She looks happy. She's having fun. It's like a real cow's cat though, you know? Sitting here tearing up grass for no reason. Okay, we've got Svengali, the heterogeneous uh, gold Bengal tiger. So that means he's a, he's a standard color over here and he's trying to get out of the sun too. Uh, I almost didn't see him at first because he was sitting so still. And you know the, the striping really kind of does help camouflage him. I mean, I've got color binocular vision like uh, most other uh, omnivores or bipedal carnivores, and I couldn't quite get a handle on him there, just especially in the light. So, but uh, he's uh, he's asleep and chilling. 
because again it's very very hot out right now and there's not a lot of direct sunlight but it, it comes down and you can feel it even in the shade too so I'm gonna go ahead and leave him to it maybe take a, another look at the environment over here they all have the same kind of ball and the same type of waterfall there so I'm not sure if it's just like a design feature they wanted to make it pretty or if there's any actual benefit to big cats for having the waterfall and then just one ball because I don't think that ball moves I think that's actually built in so I'm not sure if they play on that or if they just jump off of it or what have you so I'll have to research that too Secret Garden, very pretty area. No, I still haven't seen Siegfried and Roy. I don't think they come down to visit very often anymore, especially since uh, Roy had his accident there. So, up for another year. Thank you. So, I know they used to come by and visit the garden a lot, but um, since they have, they stopped. Uh, since they retired and stopped doing the show and Roy got hurt, it's been a lot more difficult for him to to get down, I know, so I'm sure they probably just uh, spend a little bit of time there, but you know what, uh, that is the show, uh, like the video if you enjoyed our little uh, trip through Sarmodi Valley here, comment and subscribe, and then uh, next time we'll do a little something different, maybe something a little more gameplay based, but till next time, Ace of Vegas is signing out, strong hands and happy spinning.